As stupendous a career as Rafael Nadal has had till now, this is the first time that he has been able to win both the Australian Open and Roland Garros in the same year. The 22-time Grand Slam winner begins his pursuit of a calendar slam on Tuesday against Argentina's Francisco Serendalo at Wimbledon. There's another tennis great who has won 22 Grand Slam titles, but in the doubles category, Pam Shriver. During a recent interview, the former American player said that she wouldn't have given Rafael Nadal even a sliver of a chance to achieve a calendar slam a year ago, but that it could be a possibility now. Twelve months ago, I would have said, not a chance in the world, but now he's two legs up, had the foot procedure after the French Open and he's looking good. He doesn't start as my favorite to win Wimbledon, but he's in my top two or three picks. It's possible that he can go into the US Open like Djokovic last year and already be three legs up, Shriver said. Shriver continued to praise the 36-year-old, claiming that his 21st Grand Slam title in Australia and the 22nd at Roland Garros were two of Nadal's greatest achievements given everything that was happening with his foot. It's a really intriguing part of this year's Wimbledon, if he can get through to the semis and into the final, the excitement will really build. What he's shown us by winning his 21st Grand Slam in Australia and the 22nd in France and everything he told us afterward about the foot, I think they were his two greatest accomplishments at this stage of his career. It could be one of those magical runs, Shriver added. Rafael Nadal has learned how to adapt his game to play on grass and Alcar as has even more weapons for the surface Pam Shriver. Carlos Alcar as the fifth seed at Wimbledon, has already done wonders this year by winning four titles, including the Miami and Madrid Masters. The young Spaniard broke through to the top 10 after winning the title at Barcelona. Pam Shriver was very impressed with the 19-year-old, putting him above Yannick Sinner and Kasper Ruud amongst the youngsters. Alcar as is a pretty big unknown on grass. He's the new star of 2022, just the way he played at the end of the hard court season and throughout the clay season. He looks levels ahead of the likes of Sinner and Rude. I know Rude made the final at the French Open, but he had the favorable side of the draw. Fair play to him for that, but looking at what Alcar as did from Indian Wells to Madrid, the way he played through the whole circuit was unbelievable, Shriver said. Shriver stated that although the charismatic Alcar as is yet to prove his medal on grass, he has all the weapons to become a fantastic player on the surface. We'll see how he makes the transition. Rafael Nadal has learned how to adapt his game to play on grass and Alcar as has even more weapons for the surface. He has a bigger serve, harder shots and his movement is impeccable. I can't see any reason why he can't be very good on grass. Alcar as likes the volley too, but he could come up against someone with more experience on these faster courts, like a Dennis Kudla, who could make it really awkward for him. Wimbledon crowds will take to him, though. He has charisma seeping out of everything, said Shriver.